never made a lot of sense to me that guys played a lot in the preseason. I believe Tom Brady still probably has played his fair share in the preseason. But mm-hmm. I'll tell you what, the risk of injury is so much anymore in the NFL. And as you get later in the season, you start to look back and, you know, why did we play these guys in, in the first couple of preseason games for that one series? It really doesn't matter when you're talking about, you know, a 16-game schedule in that first game of the year. You know, I mean, when you have uh, years of history in the league, when week one happens, you very quickly acclimate to, you know, this is real-life football. You, you don't, you've been playing football, you know, literally like your entire life. And, and, and you know, probably for, for Drew Brees, you know, what, 17 years now. So does he really need to go out there, risk injury for himself? His offensive line, they have to have all the guys in the offensive line healthy because they don't want to have, you know, the, the second offensive line in for Drew Brees or, or, or quarterbacks like him. Uh, you know, the receivers will have to all be out there. So uh, I think it's a great opportunity. The, the preseason to me, and if I look back at my career, the preseason is huge for guys that were like myself. Backups, you know, guys trying to make the team, uh, veterans trying to prove they still got it. Uh, you, uh, you know, but but really those twos and threes, you know, that basically from number twenty, you know, four on the roster down to fifty-three, you know, that's where really the, the the big chase is. And so, you know, for me, for a backup quarterback, that might be my only opportunity the entire year uh, to impress the coaches, impress the the upper management, the GM, uh, and, and impress the, my teammates. You know, get, gain the respect of my teammates that hey, if our backup quarterback has to go in there, he played really well in the preseason. So. You know, that, that really is your time to shine as a backup, trying to earn your keep, trying to make the team. Uh, you know, it also, in, in some ways, if, you know, if you're a backup quarterback and you don't play, you know, during the 16-game regular season schedule in the playoffs, you know, you're almost playing for your contract for 2019, you know, right now. Chase Daniel uh, and the, the Chicago they're sort of playing for next year right now because they may never play at all, you know, this year during the regular season. So, and, you know, for, for backup quarterbacks, for – a lot of players in the team who are trying to earn their keep in the NFL and, and, and prove themselves in the league, uh, the preseason is great. But it's also exhausting. I mean, you're practicing pretty hard during the week, harder than you would during the regular season, you know, generally. Uh, and you're playing a lot in these preseason games. And especially when you get to that second half, uh, you know, the, the, the starters aren't going back in. Maybe the twos, they're not going to go back in the football games. So you're down to a pretty thin group. And, uh, you know, you're, you're working pretty hard. It's hot. And, and it's pretty exhausting in the second half of those uh, of those of these preseason games.